Hi, I am going to join the conversation. I have been posting comments on other popular uh, news journalists covering this issue, um, hoping to raise awareness and educate people about some things that are going on that just aren't being talked about. So I'm here to talk to you about those things. Um, I just finished watching another episode of the Kim Iverson show. I've been following her for a while, and I believe that she's a very good journalist. However, she's just not aware of some of the issues because nobody's talking about these issues. Um, I will put all the links below uh, so you can go check them for yourselves. They're all... Um, you know, mostly, mostly government websites that I'm pulling this information from. So please check the links in the comments or in the description below. Um, so if you don't know what a xenohormone is by now, it's no surprise. <laughs> we just, our society's not talking about this issue. We are so wrapped up in the division and, um, you know, people fighting for either side of the argument about the transgender movement and how it's affecting our children. And um, so I just want to raise some awareness for these issues. It's not just um, affecting humans, but there's actually been studies done on fish, frogs, uh, birds, things like that that are being affected by xenohormones and other industrial um, byproducts and chemicals. Atrazine is a huge one. Um, atrazine has been banned in Europe. Um, and at the same time they were banning it, uh, our government was fighting to protect, uh, it being used. It's a, oh, it's a widely used, uh, chemical on our crops, corn, um, and other crops. So atrazine is, uh, affecting wildlife populations and uh, since we're not talking about it or studying it how it's affecting human populations we just don't have a lot of science solid scientific research on that yet but there is research being done for our wildlife populations atrazine uh, even mercury if you look at mercury and um, it is causing homosexual behavior in ibises uh, National Geographic has an article about it. Nature.com has an article about it. Um, we've got other xenohormones, like we all know BPA and things like that. They're hormone uh, estrogen mimickers in the body. Um, so I urge you to please check out the links below. Don't just take my word for it. Do your own research and urge people like Kim Iverson and uh, Matt Walsh and um, you know anybody else that you're listening to about this issue I urge you to start commenting on their pages to talk about this issue because it is so important and it needs attention I appreciate your time today check the links below give me a comment how you feel about this um, you know if you want to comment before you read the actual research go ahead but I urge you to read the links and do your own research and then make a more informed decision on this huge debate and topic right now. It's just, it's so sad that we are, we're going along with this trendy movement and I believe it is a massive cover up for corporate interests. Check back for more info. I will provide more links every single time. I'm all about providing scientific research uh, and data to support my views. And um, a lot of it, is, I'm still questioning because there just isn't enough research being done right now. But if we raise awareness together, then we're going to force the research to be done and see what's actually going on with our environment and how it's affecting us, our children adults, everyone, um, not just the fish, the frogs, the ibises and small mammals. So, um, thank you all again for checking out my video. I appreciate your time. 
Um, I know it's not that much time for the video right now. It's going to take you a lot more time to read through some of the articles. Uh, some of them are kind of short. Um, some of them are just abstracts. If, uh, if you don't want to read the entire uh, article, I know that they're quite long and they're hard to understand unless you have a, a science degree or some kind of background in reading over medical journals. So uh, to make it easier on you and you won't have to spend as much time, you can read the abstract and then also scroll down to the bottom to read the conclusion on many of these uh, very long, lengthy articles. Thanks again, guys. And I hope to see you back here soon.